Farewell to Orion, look high for the lion, and get ready for the scorpion. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Marlene Hidalgo. And I'm James Alberry. And I'm Dean Regis. Now that the weather is warm enough for you to spend a little time outside in early evening without your long johns, we'd like to suggest that sometime during this lovely month of May, you go out and get a look at the most famous constellation of spring, which for thousands of years has been associated with royalty and regal majesty. We're talking about the king of spring, Leo the Lion. But before we take a look at Leo, let's say farewell to the king of winter, Orion. Next week is about the last chance until next winter that you'll have to see Orion the Hunter in early evening skies. And the disappearance of Orion is a sure sign of the end of winter. The positions of the stars themselves tell us that the world, well really just the northern hemisphere, is ready to warm up. And as sure as Orion's disappearing from early evening skies signals the final end to wicked winter weather, so too does the appearance of Leo, the most prominent constellation of spring directly overhead at sunset, likewise tell us that the weather is steadily on the mend. Let's show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for 30 minutes after sunset. And if you look over toward the west and have a clear flat horizon, there you'll see the line of three bright stars that mark Orion's belt getting ready to dip below the horizon. And you should also see Orion's bright shoulder star, Betelgeuse, twinkling a fiery red. Off to the right of Orion, there's another bright light that we just have to tell you about. The biggest planet, Jupiter, is also getting ready to leave the evening skies. By the end of May, Jupiter will follow Orion below the horizon, but before it does, Jupiter will put on a few more evening sky shows for us. On the weekend of May 11 and 12, a two and three day old crescent moon will bracket Jupiter on Saturday and Sunday evenings. This won't happen again until the end of May a year from now. Then, over the next few weeks, Jupiter will be joined by Venus and Mercury, and the three of them will make a super triangle on the 25th and 26th. Then if you look straight up almost overhead for a backwards question mark or a sickle shaped pattern of stars, followed by a right triangle, you will have spotted Leo the lion. And whenever Leo is overhead at sundown, spring is really here. But as you know, as much as I always hate to see Orion finally disappear from early evening skies every May of every year, nevertheless, if you just wait a couple of hours and go outside between the hours of 10 and 11, you'll get a preview of the bright constellation of summer which replaces winter's Orion. And that, of course, is Scorpius, the scorpion rising in the southeast. And as May night after May night goes by, after Orion has bid his farewell, the scorpion will rise just a little bit earlier every May night after May night. By the first week of June, he'll be well above the horizon before midnight, a sure sign that summer is well on its way. And as we all know, the season of summer is the direct opposite of winter. So too are their celestial signs, Orion and the scorpion opposite in the heavens and can never be seen in the sky at the same time. In fact, shortly after Orion sets in the west, the scorpion will appear to rise in the east and vice versa. As the scorpion sets in the west, Orion will shortly rise in the east. One ancient legend explains it nicely, for it seems that Orion, in addition to being a giant, was also a braggart, who once boasted that he would exterminate all the animals of Earth. Well, Gaia, the goddess of Earth, overhearing him, was so upset that she sent a scorpion after Orion. And after that, Orion has always kept a safe distance from the scorpion, having learned a very painful lesson. So hang in there, all of those of you who have suffered the wiles of a wild winter, because when we say bye-bye Orion, we also bid the cold adieu. And if you don't believe me, say hello to Scorpius as you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.